Hello. Tonight I wanted to share with you some of my favorite poems about death and grief. For one, I tend to think about death a lot. It's just something that's on my mind a lot. Um, not always in a negative way, just in a kind of a, something that happens to all of us way. Um, and grief, I feel, is definitely a universal experience that can be something that brings us all together. I hope these poems bring you comfort or relaxation or maybe even just one of those really good cries that you didn't realize you needed very badly until afterwards. It can be kind of cathartic. Please let me know if you'd like more poems about death in the future because I'm happy to read them to you. Enjoy. Do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning they, do not go gentle into that good night. Good men the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight Blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height. Curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Immortality by Claire Harner Do not stand by my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am the thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints in snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. As you awake with morning's hush, I am the swift, upflinging rush of quiet birds in circling flight. I am the day, transcending night. Do not stand by my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. If Tomorrow Starts Without Me by David Romano if tomorrow starts without me, and I'm not there to see, if the sun should rise and find your eyes all filled with tears for me, I wish so much you wouldn't cry the way you did today while thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. I know how much you care for me and how much I care for you, and each time that you think of me, I know you'll miss me too, but when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But as I turned to walk away, a tear fell from my eye. For all life, I'd always thought I didn't want to die. I had so much to live for and so much yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you. I thought of all the love we shared and all the fun we had. If I could relive yesterday, I thought for just a while, I'd say goodbye and hug you and maybe see you smile. 
But then I fully realized that this could never be, for emptiness and memories would take the place of me. And when I thought of worldly things that I'd miss come tomorrow, I thought of you, and when I did, my heart was filled with sorrow. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When God looked down and smiled at me from his great golden throne, he said, this is eternity and all I've promised you. Today your life on earth is past, but here it starts anew. I promise no tomorrow, but today will always last. And since each day's the same, there's no longing for the past. But you have been so faithful, so trusting, so true. Though there were times you did some things you knew you shouldn't do. And you have been forgiven, and now at last you're free. So won't you come and take my hand, and share my life with me? So if tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, please know I'm in your heart. The Dance of Death by Charles Baudelaire Carrying bouquet and handkerchief and gloves, proud of her height as when she lived she moves, with all the careless and high-stepping grace, and the extravagant courtesan's thin face. Was slimmer waist e'er in a ballroom wooed, her floating robe in royal amplitude, falls in deep folds around a dry foot shod, with a bright flower-like shoe that gems the sod, the swarms that hum about her collarbones, as the lascivious streams caress the stones, Conceal from every scornful jest that flies Her gloomy beauty and her fathomless eyes Are made of shade and void with flowery sprays Her skull is wreathed artistically and sways Feeble and weak on her frail vertebrae O oh, charm of nothing decked in folly, they Who laughed and name you a caricature they see not, they whom flesh and blood allure, the nameless grace of every bleached bare bone. That is most dear to me, tall skeleton. Come you to trouble with your potent sneer, the feast of life, or are you driven here to pleasure Sabbath by dead lusts that stir and goad your moving corpse on with a spur? Or do you hope when sing the violins? And the pale candle flame lights up our sins To drive some mocking nightmare far apart And cool the flame hell lighted in your heart Fathomless well of fault and foolishness Eternal alembic of antique distress Still o'er the curved white trellis of your sides The sateless wandering serpent curls and glides and truth to tell, I fear lest you should find Among us here, no lover to your mind Which of these hearts beat for the smile you gave? The charms of horror please none of the brave Your eyes' black gulf, where awful brooding stir Brings giddiness, the prudent reveler Sees while a horror grips him from beneath The eternal smile of thirty-two white teeth. For he who has not folded his arms, a skeleton, nor fed on graveyard charms, wrecks not the fur below, or paint or scent, when a horror comes the way that beauty went. O oh, irresistible with fleshless face, say to these dancers in their dazzled race, proud lovers with the paint above your bones, Ye shall taste death, musk-scented skeletons. Withered Antinous, dandies with plump faces, Ye varnished cadavers and gray lovelaces, Ye go to lands unknown and void of breath, Drawn by the rumor of the dance of death. From Sen's cold quays to Ganges' burning stream, The mortal troops dance onward in a dream, 
They do not see within the open sky The angel's sinister trumpet raised on high In every clime and under every sun Death laughs at ye, mad mortals, as ye run And oft perfumes herself with myrrh like ye And mingles with your madness, irony Death Be Not Proud by John Donne Death be not proud, though some have called thee Mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so For those whom thou thinkst thou dost overthrow Die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me From rest and sleep which by thy pictures be Much pleasure then from thee, much more must flow and soonest our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls' delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well, and better than thy stroke, why swellst thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternal eye, and death shall be no more. Death. Thou shalt die. In Flanders Fields by John McRae In Flanders Fields the poppies blow Between the crosses, row on row That mark our place and in the sky The larks, still bravely singing, fly Scarce heard amid the guns below we are the dead, short days ago We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow Loved and were loved, and now we lie In Flanders fields Take up our quarrel with the foe To you from failing hands we throw The torch be yours to hold it high If ye break faith with us who die We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Fields Funeral Blues by W. H. Auden Stop all the clocks, cut off the telephone Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone Silence the pianos and with muffled drum Bring out the coffin, let the mourners come Let aeroplanes circle moaning overhead Scribbling on the sky the message, he is dead Put crepe bows round the white necks of the public doves Let the traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves He was my north, my south, my east, my west My working week and my Sunday rest My noon, my midnight, my talk, my song I thought that love would last forever I was wrong the stars are not wanted now, put out every one Pack up the moon and dismantle the sun Pour away the ocean and sweep up the wood For nothing now can ever come to any good O oh, Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman O oh, Captain, My Captain, our fearful trip is done The ship has weathered every rack the prize we sought is won The port is near, the bells I hear The people all exulting While follow eyes the steady keel The vessel grim and daring But O oh heart, heart, heart O oh the bleeding drops of red Where on the deck my captain lies Fallen, cold, and dead O oh captain, my captain Rise up and hear the bells Rise up, for you the flag is flung for you the bugle trills, for you bouquets and ribboned wreaths, for you the shores a-crowding, for you they call the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Here, Captain, dear father, the arm beneath your head, it is some dream that on the deck you've fallen cold and dead. My captain does not answer, his lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm, he has no pulse or will. 
The ship is anchored safe and sound, its voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Exult, O shores, and ring, O bells, but I, with mournful tread, walk the deck my captain lies, fallen cold and dead.